Hello, thank you so much for joining me and today we're going to be doing crafts, crafts with mudlarking finds. gathered together a few things um, so that we can do um, an Easter craft. I'll just show you how we can use the things that some things that we've found mudlarking on some modern day things. Um, I know there's some crafts that I just use only things that we've found on old jars etc but here I, I saw this jar and I thought no nope, you know what we can decapatch that with the old newspaper that we found in the dump and the same goes for that and I thought with that we could um, um, put shards on it and put, put that on there and then with that we could um, maybe paint it or gild it and stick it on but yeah a little easter craft let's start with getting some newspaper out of here if you remember we found 1932 1937 and 1938 newspaper all in a big wadge and we put it under the fire and as it was drying we just peeled each layer off and so we're left with paper that we can use to cover this glass with so I'm going to use the deck patch glue let me just sorry let me just stick that out of the way I'll show you again which glue we use in case you want to get your own okay oops where's the there we go so we use this deck patch glue get it from Amazon get it from eBay okay I've popped it in a little bottle that I found just so we can repurpose the bottle, you know what I'm like. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to decapatch this and decapatch this as well. And when you're decapatching, you tear your paper, you don't cut it, you don't want straight lines. have got um, a tutorial of this coming up very soon of decker patching very easy I'm just going to leave it overhanging there. What I'll do is when it's dry, I can just cut that around the edge there and just trim it off. But you just wait for it to dry. Yeah, you just fill in all the gaps. Just 
plenty of glue everywhere. Oops. Almost done now, just got one last little um, patch and then we'll just go over to make sure it's all got a coat of this glue. Because don't forget the Deca patch glue is actually a varnish as well. Okay, so oops. It's uh, very fragile, some of this paper. The 1932 one um, is very fragile. The 37 and the 38, not, not quite so much. But it's just a way of using up um, newspaper if you find it at an old dump, isn't it? Right, let's just have one quick look all around the edge. I am going to neaten that edge once it's dry at the top there. Just go around, make sure it's covered. Gonna try to avoid putting my fingers on it because it's my fingers are a bit sticky and sticking to the stick. Oh, there's a gap there, gap down there, little sneaky gap. Let's turn it round. But yeah, you can decorate um, all sorts of things. There is a video coming up, like I say, of decorating um, a jam pot. Right. I think what we need to do now is let that one dry. I've just pulled off. Got to try and avoid touching it with my fingers. Let's put some glue on there. Leave that to dry because I want to do the bunny rabbit. Let's get something to pick it up with. Just to move it somewhere to dry. Okay. I'm going to have to move it over this way, shall we? Move it over there. Okay, and let's do the same thing with this rabbit. Just do half of it in the glue in case it soaks in. Okay, let's get some newspaper on that. See the glue wettens the paper, wets the wettens, is that even a real word? Wettens. <laughs> the glue wets the paper and it just makes it be able to go around corners.
quite hard to see on the wood what you've covered and what you haven't but it doesn't matter because you can wait for it to dry and you can go back over what hasn't got anything on it So we'll just keep going until we've covered it all in the paper. Okay, just the last little bits to do now. I might have missed some bits, it's difficult to tell on the wood, but like I say, I can, uh, when it's dry, I can easily just tear a little bit more paper and stick it on where it's supposed to go. Well, I'll have a quick look, see it's all covered and all stuck down. Yeah, oh no, a little bit on the tail. So let's put some more glue because it's, the thing is with this MDF it does soak, soak in quite quickly. Right, I think that's more or less covered. So what we can do is we can leave that to dry as well now. Okay, so let's get rid of this paper. Because we've finished with that part of it now. Right, while I'm waiting for these to dry over here, let's just stick that down. While I'm waiting for these to dry, I'm going to do some of the embellishments. And first of all, I'm going to gild this rabbit, this wooden rabbit. I haven't gilded on wood before, so um, I've no idea if it'll work. I don't know, but we can try, can't we? So get my gilding glue onto this rabbit cut out. Yeah, I'll do the surface and the edge. You could just paint it, you don't have to gild it. Use what you've got. But if you've not done gilding before, just buy some gilding flakes and some gilding glue and away you go. It's really so easy, really simple. Right, I've done that now. Don't worry if you've missed any bits. You know, you can always go over with some more gilding glue okay we can wait for that to dry and now what we can do is a tag so I was thinking I was going to put that bunny rabbit on it and I'm going to put a tag seeing as it's Easter an Easter tag and my idea was to use some, some pottery shards and um, just, this was just cheap 
grout. This is only from like a um, cheap household shop, like a um, hardware store. It wasn't much, a couple of quid. I've used it before with the kids when they've done those eggs. So yeah, let's. Um, I'll just get um, some sort of knife or some sort of tool to do the grouting with. Okay, so the idea is I'm just going to put some grout on the base to stick the shards to. Right, let's get the uh, shards on that. Just pressing it on, pressing the pieces on, nice and firmly. This is a um, fix that grout, so it's both a grout and, and the glue. there on there like so right and we'll wait for those to dry then we can grout it but I think that's nice isn't it very simple use up your little shards stick it on a wooden it's not I thought it was MDF it's wood stick it on a wooden shape okay we can now get on and do the gilding on the rabbit let's put that away Okay, so let me show you this. I found this at the snowy dump and um, it had a broken corner. And originally I thought, oh, well, I'll just copy that corner. I'll just make a mould of it and put it on the other side. But then I thought, you know, you know what? I'm going to make a pouring corner. Can you see? Because I can do me, me gilding on here. Not necessarily the sheets, but when I do the gilding flakes, when I do these... What I do is I pour them on here, I end up with loads left. And so I like to put them back in the in the pot. So making this pouring corner on, on here means that I can get the brush and just scrape it down that pouring cor corner into the pot. So yeah, I made a little clay with clay, a pouring corner. But yeah, it's ni nice to use. Um, Something that I found. Right, let's get the grout off that. Nearly forgot. Okay. Stick that there. Then drying nicely. Okay, so we want the bunny rabbit. There we go. Got the rabbit. It's got the glue. It's dried. So I want to do it in black. Could paint it. That's too easy, isn't it? And I have the black leaf. So... Let's just pop it on. Press it on. You know the score. Don't worry any bits you've missed with the glue you can go over again like 
I do think this might take two coats actually. I haven't done it on the wood before. Yeah, I th certainly think that needs two coats. Gilded my finger. Yeah, don't do it with sticky fingers. Yeah, I'm definitely going to give that two coats. Let me just brush all the excess off. You'd even colour it with a black sharper if you haven't got black paint. That'll do the job. Yeah, I'll just brush all that off and then I'll, uh, I shall glue it again. Right. There's not much left of that flake on there, so I'll just pour that into the bin. That's it. Okay. Let's let me try that a little bit. I've got a little um, dyn dymo. Is it dynamo? Up the old-fashioned one where it presses the, the letters out as well. I might put um, deco patch and gilding on these clues because I keep getting them mixed up with each other. Right, let's go for a second coat. See how we go with that. leave that to dry well a second coat coat of um, the black worked wonders so there as you can see that's with the black gilding um, not flakes but the sheet leaf as you call it black black gold black black leaf okay Right, everything's dry now. You can see the deco patch gives it a nice bit of a shine. Right, so what we want to do is, um, and that's all grouted. I just put the grout on with my finger, rubbed it between. There you go. And that's that done. I actually quite like that. That's very nice. Use some nice uh, bold pieces in that. Okay, so what I want to do? That's going to be a tag. So I've got some twine and I want to pop that through the hole I'm just using stuff I've got I've got tons of these shapes for work so I've just nabbed one I'm going to tie it like that <coughs> excuse me just tie it like that Yep, I want it to, to sit flat so I'm not going to pull it up like that because you see if you pull it up right to the neck like that see how it sticks out like that I don't want it to do that so I want it to lie flat like that oops so I'm going to tie it there do with that being just a tiny bit tighter a second there we go okay I'm going to tie 
tie that in a bow, I think. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to tie that in a bow there, like that. Okay. So we've got the little tag thing on there. You could write a little message on there, I suppose. You could, you could fill it with like little mini chocolate eggs, couldn't you? Fill that with chocolate eggs. Write your little message on the back of there. And then we've got the bunny, which I think I want to put on there. Stick on there like that. And for that, I will use my silicone glue. So we'll put two big blobs. Stick him there, like so. Stick the ears on, and then all that's left to do is to fill it. But yeah, a little way of using um, some mudlarking finds, which is the paper and the shards, um, on a modern day object. So there you go, fill it with eggs, and away you go, perfect for Easter. Okay, right, what to do with this one? Right, well, I think first off, it needs something around its neck, definitely needs something around its neck. So, just give me two seconds, I'm just gonna pull some um, ribbons out of the ribbon box. I've chosen this lighter um, ribbon, see if you can see it. They call it Grow Grain, I think, there you go. It's quite thick. Yeah, we'll use that one. Use any ribbon or twine or anything like that. And I think we'll have it in a bow. And I was thinking of putting maybe a shard on it as well. Tie it in a bow or a knot. I think we'll tie it in a knot. Okay. Just cut it with these scissors here right so I've tied it in a knot I'm just going to cut it shorter though I don't quite want it that long I'm just going to cut it at an angle don't know if you can see angle see it's been caught a bit of angle right let's see do I think no sea glass sea glass yeah I've got this this piece of sea glass has been knocking about my desk for absolutely ages it's lovely it's round and it's blue and I think we could glue that on the middle of there yeah no, I'll, I'll paint an eye on, I think. Shall I paint an eye? Yeah, I'm going to paint an eye. I'm going to stick that on with silicone glue. You see, you just make it up as you go along. You see what you've got in front of you and use it. So silicone glue, really great glue for all this sort of stuff. And I think we will just have a, an eye. Should we just have a little black dot? I think we'll have a black dot. So... Let me just have I got any black. No, you know what? I was gonna paint it with a fine brush, but I'll probably just draw it on the sharpie. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw it on. Right, one second, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna Google it just so I can get do I do a dot or do I do a, like a squirrely eye? One second. Right, I've had a quick Google. Um, I googled MDF um, cream egg rabbits and it came up with a few pictures. So I've decided I'm doing a bigger eye, not just a circle. Okay, 
and then mm, 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 with the fine pen and some white paint which I have over here so let me show you what I've done just done that I'm just going to put a couple of dots of white on the eye in fact I'm not going to use that because I've not got the right things to clean it with I don't want to ruin it I'm going to use my poker tool I'm going to use this poker tool and just dip it in because you only want a couple of little blobs on the eye How's that? Yeah, I think I think that is enough. So let's pop the cream egg in there. I'm getting hungry now. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got the little bunny rabbit decoupatched with the 1930s newspaper. Okay, and a little bit of ribbon, a bit of sea glass on the knot, and just drew on an eye and a little bit of a nose and mouth bit there. Okay, and then we've got the jar which we can fill with some chocolate eggs. Or something similar it's got a tag there that you could write on the other side if you wish that was uh, shards of pottery remember just use the glue and grout the all-in-one thing that does everything it's only cheap just from a cheap um, hardware store yeah take a patch that it's as simple as that really also I'll show you um, this egg cup that I got from um, I think I got it from the Icy Dump, which, which was in Yorkshire, which we did just before Christmas. Um, it was had all the front and a bit at the back, but it was broken. The back was broken, so I just put some clay on it. Painted it just so that I could stick an egg in it. What I've also got is this plant pot. Now I've got this one from the dump up the road. And it's a little bunny rabbit plant pot. And I think what I might do is I might paint it. Because I've washed it, but it's, it's all stained. And, uh, yeah, I think it would uh, would benefit from a coat of paint. So I think that's going to be the next one and the last one. Um, yeah, last little Easter uh, craft. OK, this is going to be a quick and easy little um, makeover. this. I've got this acrylic paint. And this is a sand colour, and the sand colour is what I'm going to use on the inside. So let's turn that off. And the sand colour is what I'm going to use on the inside. And on the outside, I'm going for um, this one. It doesn't, does it say the colour on it? I'm not sure, anyway. I'm going for that one, sort of a brownie colour, and then I'll mix a pink with the little pads on the feet. Yeah, might as well give it a bit of a makeover, just make it look a bit fresher.
okay that's going to need two coats but that's no problem because while that's drying we'll paint the outside so I'm gonna I've already shut this paint so I'm gonna stick it in there Okay, let's leave that to dry and then we can give it a second coat. Okay, well the outside's dry so I'm just going to give that a second coat. Okay, that's all that needs, a second coat. So the inside's still just a bit wet yet, so I'm not going to uh, give that its second coat yet. But as you can see, second coat on that looks really nice. Yep, the outside's dry, so let's give that inside a second coat. I might actually, um, when I finish doing this, I might spray it with a lacquer just to protect it even more. But yeah, what, what a nice little find this was. A nice little find because it's complete as well. It's not even got any chips in it. and found just at the right time to turn it into uh, something for Easter. It's easy isn't it just to transform something with some paint. Okay well I'm happy with that, a second coat on there is definitely much better. Might just touch up that front edge there. Can you see where I've got a tiny little bit of the paint on? Just touch up that, and then uh, while I'm doing that, I shall have a think about what I'm going to do on the rest of it. I think what I'm going to do is let me just get that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just draw in some of the lines um, on the bunny like round the leg um, on the like the knuckly bits just in a slightly darker colour just to make them stand out a little bit and then I'll do the tail then I'll do a tail a lighter colour there you go that just neatens up that top edge then I'll do a tail the lighter colour and the pads of the little feet I'll do them in a different colour Right, okay, let's let's wash my brushes and then let's mix some paint for doing all this. I've just mixed a little bit of the sand coloured paint with the um just some red. Just just uh, bright red, it's just model paint. Just so that I can paint the paws. Don't want my brush too loaded.
can go very little, goes a very long way. Doesn't take much at all. There you go, I think you'll find that that looks really nice. Don't know if you can see properly the colour on that, very, very light pink. And then I just need to do a darker colour on there, on, on the creases. I need to find a darker colour. Okay, I shall mix something together. I found some um, brown acrylic paint. I think I just got that from the works. Um, you can buy it online, online from the works. Um, but yeah, any any acrylic paint will do. Um, but I just added that brown to the pink that was already there because I didn't want something quite so harsh as that brown. So I added it to the pink. And I've got a really fine, really fine brush. Oops, sorry, let me. Yeah, really fine brush. I'm just going to do the detail. well worth buying these fine brushes as well. Um, it was a set of Amazon. I don't think they were very much, they were, I don't know, they were probably about £12. and got quite, quite a good set. You won't be able to do anything like this without them. Absolutely not. I'm just following the lines. They're already on the pot. It doesn't matter that they're not absolutely perfect. Just using this hand to steady the brush though. It's really difficult when you've not got good eyesight either. Gosh, I remember the days when I didn't have to uh, wear glasses. <laughs> Didn't have to wear glasses. And when I got to about, I don't know, I think it was about age of 42, I had to sign something. The kids were at a holiday club or something and I had to sign a permission form. And I suddenly realised I actually really couldn't focus on the paper and I thought, that's odd. And then I thought, you know what, in the mornings, when I, when I read my me, me text in the morning, my phone, I have to move further and further away from my face. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a slippery slope. And now the glasses are on the top of my head all the time. Still, there are worse things. Worse things that can happen. So why not have a go and um, repaint some things that you found? Oops, oops I forgot that was wet paint inside there. I'll have to retouch that. Okay, right, let's see if you can see. Can you see? It just give it a little bit of detail. And I think that's enough. I don't really need to do more than that. Um, what I do need to do is clean my brushes paint there, and I want to paint the tail in a light colour that one, is that a bit yeah, it's not quite as um, I think it's that one, harsh that one. Right, just let me uh, touch up that tiny bit of um, well, I've just put my finger in there Can't 
I must not have taken your paint off. That's okay. Okay, right. I seem to have got a lot of brushes in there though. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that lid on top of there and put some masking tape around it and you never know, might be able to use that for something else. It might just stop it from drying out. Just taped it together because there was still quite a bit of paint in the bottom of there, so I'm going to use that. Right, what I'm going to do now is get another brush just because it's quicker and it's easier. Turn it round. We're going to do its tail. Okay, little tail there. I'm not going to use that colour, I'm going to use this colour. Hang on, let me shake it. Sounds like it's got a ball bearing in. Don't need shaking. Okay, and that is this one. Oh, yeah, the colours at the top sand beige, acrylic colour. They're only small pots, these. What I made a mistake, really. I should have got lots of big ones like that, <laughs> all different colours. At the minute, I seem to only have like lots of beiges and red, green, and Red and green, that's it. Red and green and beige. <laughs> right. So I really need to save up for some more paint, I think. Okay, let's get a little pot, which I've got 10 million of. My friend kindly gave me tons of these. Right, I only need a bit of that paint. I don't need much. That's the sand beige. It probably is very similar to that one on the inside. Right, that's dry, so. Okay, there it's got a little tail. in there. Get rid of that up there. Paint. Stick it there. Right. Okay, let's have a look. Now at what we've got. We've got that little bunny pot which I've repainted. That's all I've done to that. There was no, I didn't have to fill any holes in or anything. Um, we've deco patched. Oops. Deco patched that bunny. And done that jar and I also showed you the uh, egg cup that I just mended just so that I could sit that in it And that plant pot now has an egg in it. So that little bunny is now an Easter bunny. Hope you enjoyed that. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press like. Don't forget to press that notification bell. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And also, if you really, really enjoyed it and you'd like to support this channel, please don't forget we have the Ko-fi link down below where you can donate the price of a coffee. Thanks. Bye.